close your eyes and be with the breath. Notice how it feels as it comes in, how it feels when it goes out. Also notice what image you have in mind when you're thinking of the breath. Because sometimes that image can have a big impact on how the breath actually flows in the body. Those images, those perceptions can either be helpful or harmful. Harmful is when you put too much of a squeeze on the breath, where you try to decide, well, since I have to be clearly aware of the in-breath and the out-breath, I'm going to make a sharp division between the two. Well, that's not the nature of the breath energy in the body. You breathe in, there's breath energy already there. When you breathe out, not all the energy gets squeezed out. You've got to allow the breath energy in the body to have some space, all the way through the in-breath, all the way through the out, and at the borders between the two. Think of the breath energy being open, 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 and you find that the body will feel a lot lighter, and you'll be less likely to squeeze things out at the end. And that way the breath comes in more easily as well. This is an important lesson we learn about our preconceived notions of things, how they can force a situation into something being something very uncomfortable, but it doesn't have to be. You find the same with pain. You have all sorts of associations with pain when they come up, and immediately the new pain gets fit into the categories of the old pains. And you don't take the time to look. You just notice a oh, pain, I don't like it, and you try to push it away or you try to tie it up, seal it off. And that doesn't help the pain at all. You're not working with understanding, you're just working with your old ideas. So much of the meditation is just this, learning to look at things with new eyes and realize that your old eyes may have been covered with all kinds of filters. And so learn how to question the filters. And you find that when you question these filters, you can start questioning some of the other ones that have been causing you a lot of unnecessary suffering as well. So take some time to really look and experiment with your perceptions. There's a passage where the Buddha talks about getting so that you can see disgusting things as beautiful and beautiful things as disgusting, or both beautiful and disgusting things as beautiful. In other words, learning how to play with your perceptions is where you begin to loosen up a lot of the really fixed ideas in the mind, and you begin to question the ways that you've been thinking about things and looking at things and placing all sorts of unnecessary burdens on yourself. So do a little experimenting as you meditate. Experiment with different ways of thinking about the breath, thinking about where the mind is in the body, which part of the body is aware of which other part of the body. Ask a few questions like this and you'll find that you discover an awful lot of interesting things about the mind, things you wouldn't have noticed otherwise because your filters were up. So when you start switching the filters, you begin to get a sense of okay, which ones are helpful, which ones are not, and what it's like not to have a lot of filters on the mind.